Allow me to explain why out of all the videos I've made, this is probably the one video I didn't like making, but it's a growing concern that needs to be shared now. Nursing and other healthcare workers were under the biggest sector for job growth since the recession, failing to meet hundreds of job applications with impossible requirements such as no new grads and one year experience required. There are jobs out there, but it's near impossible to get these jobs. What's gonna happen in the next few years? And they said nursing was recession proof. I've had some of the most amazing professors and worked with the most hardworking and loving people that you could ever meet. According to a 2011 survey conducted by the California Institute for Nursing and Healthcare, 43% of newly licensed RNs still didn't have jobs within 18 months after graduation, so who knows what number that is right now. A lot of people assume that all homeless people are all drug addicts and alcoholics, but really there's a lot of educated people out there that end up being homeless. If I wasn't fortunate enough, I could have been homeless myself too. So I made this sign and I wanted to see how people would react if a nurse became homeless. This video is probably inspired by a man from Boston who had two PhDs but had to sell everything and take care of his mother. My goal for the day was to see how the public would react to a homeless nurse and then end up gaining over $100 in donations and give that to someone else who needed it more than I do. I thought with the amount of people that pass by New York City and the fact that I'm a nurse might make people more inclined to give a donation, but that wasn't the case. I sat there for hours, like it was really humiliating to sit there and you could see people passing by either ignoring you or they'll, a lot of them is, it was different sitting down pretending to be homeless because you could see the sorrow in some people's eyes, it's just like, it felt like uh, I wasn't really worth, or any, I wasn't worthy of anything. I felt pathetic almost, really. I'm actually a filmmaker, but I am a nurse. I'm okay. fortunate enough to be to have a home, but uh, people, a lot of people, don't believe that nurses don't don't have a hard time getting jobs. So I kind of point is make... point is you went to school, you paid yeah. money out for student loans, yeah, and had a hard time getting a job in the field that you want. Yeah, you I'm, I'm still unemployed. You're still unemployed, in spite of the fact that everyone says that there's a demand for nurses. Yeah, right? yeah, so but I'm asking this you. This is how these loans get driven up. Yeah, you know the, the federal loans are more available, so schools keep raising their tuitions, mm -hmm. and so people get. You know, yeah. every successful generation of kids gets in debt like that much further. You mm -hmm. know, yeah. it's it's a sick thing that's going on. People are starting to talk about it though, which is good. Bernie Sanders is talking about it. Are, are you with him in this? No, no, no but I'm in college. So oh. I don't know what you're going through. Yeah, yeah. Well, you know what? You guys ought to stay in touch with me because oh, sure, yeah. we're going to be doing a big student loan push actually pretty soon. There's going to be a rally and stuff like that at some point. So awesome. if you're up for it, yeah. At this point, I felt really uncomfortable accepting money because I started to feel like I really was out of luck. The only other time I received money was from this family who I actually didn't even realize they noticed me. Thank you so much. Um, this is where I need your help. Using the power of social media, I'm going to be using GoFundMe to raise at least $100. If you know a friend that could help or that would want to help, share this video to them because the more money we raise, the more we could actually help someone out. So as soon as we reach our goal and the time for the campaign ends, I'm going to be making a follow-up video and show you guys how this money could actually help someone out. And this is what a video looks like without paid actors or, you know, not actually pocketing money. I'm not going to be mentioning your names, but if you're very active on YouTube, you know who I'm talking about. Um, and yeah, I'll see you guys next Saturday. And I'm not sure when this follow-up video will be. It depends on when we get our money and when I find someone who really needs the help. So I'll talk to you guys later. Peace.